did you always were you always involved in this line of work dealing with uh, waste management uh, recycling what is your background yeah that's a great question um, no, I actually kind of stumbled into being really interested in sustainability and environmentalism a few years ago. I would say that I've always kind of been interested in the environment. I'm a big animal lover, um, you know, love the ocean, but I hadn't really thought of it for a career up until recently. Um, our, our CEO, Bob Powell, is a really passionate environmentalist, and he founded Brightmark with kind of our mission um, is reimagining waste. And what we mean by that is really looking at waste in a, in a different way. Um, not only do we do recycling, as you mentioned, but we also uh, do have circular solutions for our anaerobic digestion projects, which is essentially taking cow manure um, and uh, putting that through anaerobic digestion and using that cow manure to essentially provide, you know, power to homes and things in the local area. One of these, maybe a paper, paper might dissolve into the ground over a period of time plastic don't it's it's very difficult to break down right why did you guys choose plastic versus anything else because um and then i want to get to my my follow-up question turning plastic into fuel and and the other energy that you guys do why, why plastic right it's a great question um I think to your point, uh, firstly, because there's a lot of it, right? Um, it, from a global perspective, plastic is used in so many capacities across so many different industries. Um, and I think one thing that Brightmark really saw as a really strong position is our ability to tackle a market that is continuously expanding and really trying to uh, address the uh, problems of plastic waste in the environment directly at the core. So for us, because there's so much waste produced from all those types of activities as well, whether it be food waste, whether it be um, farms like the video that you're seeing here, and we really want to be able to address waste across the board because not only is there so much waste that's produced, but as I said earlier in this interview, um, there's a lot of value in waste that we can unlock. And that's kind of what's really interesting is I didn't even really realize that before I started at Brightmark that you can really take waste and unlock the value in it and use that for a more sustainable and circular solution. Of course, Recycle Force is the amazing organization that's, I would say, kind of a neighbor um, in, in actually Indiana, so they're not too far away from us. Um, they're the one, Greg Keesling actually is their, their founder. Um, he's the one that came up with that amazing uh, idea. It's, and what I love about Recycle Force and the work that they do and the work that we're trying to do with them is they're investing, like you said, in people and they see this kind of like dual pronged thing. So there is the business part of it where it's like, you know, electronic waste is a huge industry that needs to be recycled. Like there's so much stuff, um, you know, computers, cell phones, there's all those types of things that we don't even think about as consumers. Um, they're addressing that issue. And then on top of that, to your point, they are really being able to address another issue of, of being able to create equitable jobs for individuals that maybe don't have True. as much of an opportunity. Prison five years ago, I got this job four and a half months ago. It got me on the streets and I'm an ex felon four time. It helped me get a crib and I don't have to sleep next to a dumpster anymore. I love it. Recycle Force gave me a choice and I picked Recycle Force instead of the streets. And I believe it saved my life. That's why I'm here today. No place else would hire me. I have drug felonies. I have a four-year-old son, 18-year-old daughter that I support. This place brought me in with open arms. I love it here. It's like my second home. Not only because we're passionate about the work we do at Brightmark, but also because we really care about, you know, the current people that live on this planet and future generations. So for us, I think um, I can say definitely that we just want to continue to look for opportunities to help protect the environment and, you know, make the, the future better for everyone because that's what we care about ultimately as a company.